for the second race at the Illinois State Fair. Win, play, show, exact a trifecta wagering. Another division of the ISOBA series for Illinois breads. In this case, two-year-old pacing fillies. Here are the starters. Number one is Clear Creek Page, owned by Carol Yeasel of Lincoln and by Larry Leesman of Atlanta, trained by Mike Brink, and he is the driver. Number two, Sporty Dandy, owned by Ray Hanna from Altamont, Dick Corson of St. Peter, and Bryce Geiler of Ken Mundy, trained by Ray Hanna, Dave McGee, and the bike. Number three, Fashion Fanny, owned by Jane Cross of Alney, trained and driven by Tony Alanya of Sherman. Number four, Fox Valley Gossip, is owned by Sunset Valley Racing Stable of Carrollton, trained by Leo Grummel. Dale Heitman is up. Number five, DP's May, is owned by Buddy Simpson of Fairfield, by Phil Pierce and Dixie Ackerman of Carmi, trained by Buddy Simpson. His son, Clay, is the driver. Number six, Sporty Sally, owned by Brandy Malloy of West Salem, trained and driven by Pat Malloy, Jr. Number seven, I see stars, owned by Kenyon Walker of Springfield and Ron Phillips of Petersburg, trained by Kenyon Walker, Tony Morgan in the bike. Number eight is Zibber Bibber B. Owned by John Krastikin, Jr. of Streeter, trained by Irv Miller, Andy Miller in the bike. And number nine is Lady Bidmore, owned by Homer Henke of Morrow, by Bob Walker of Carrollton, trained by Bob Walker. His son, Hart Walker, is in the race bike. Post time in five minutes on this trifecta race. Here they come for today's second race. They're off and pacing. There goes Sporty Sally for the lead. Fox Valley Gossip is going to go with her. Clear Creek Page is there toward the inside, and Sporty Dandy comes away in fourth. Fox Valley Gossip has the lead and gets over toward the rail, flanked by Sporty Sally, and there goes Sporty Sally to the front. Fox Valley Gossip picks up cover second. Two more lengths to Clear Creek Page in third by a length and a half. And Sporty Dandy is fourth against the inside rail. Another length and a half to Fashion Fanny. I see stars, DP's May, Zibber Bibber B, Lady Bidmore last. 28 and three for the opening quarter. And here comes Clear Creek Page up on the outside from third to the lead by the time they enter the backstretch. Clear Creek Page is on top by a length and a half. Sporty Sally goes second. Fox Valley Gossip is third. Sporty Dandy to the outside from fourth followed by I.C. Stars, who picks up cover behind her, five lengths off the lead on the outside of Fashion Fanny. They're halfway home, and Clear Creek Page leads it, the half in 58 and one-fifth seconds. Sporty Dandy gets alongside the leader, and Sporty Dandy gets in front by almost a full length onto the far turn. Clear Creek Page is second, and then Sporty Sally. I see stars on the outside. Fox Valley Gossip gets the shuffle, five lengths off the lead. DP's May is alongside her. Zibber Bibber B is seven lengths from the front. Outside of Fashion Fanny, Lady Bidmore is at the back. They're at the three quarters. Sporty Dandy on top by a length. Clear Creek Page is second, three parts of a length. The IC Stars, three quarters and 128. DP's May angles out toward the center of the track, four lengths off the lead. Sporty Sally is next inside of Fox Valley Gossip, eighth of a mile to come. And still a long way to go for Zibber Bibber B. Into the stretch, Sporty Dandy leads by two, but here comes DP's May charging down the center of the track. DP's May to the lead. Sporty Dandy drops back. Zibber Bibber B goes to second. DP's May, Zibber Bibber B, Fox Valley gossip to third. DP's May wins it by a length and a half. Zibber Bibber B was second, and Fox Valley gossip was third in 156 and three. If you were here yesterday at the Illinois State Fair, you saw that we recognized the Simpson family of Fairfield. There were three generations worth of Simpsons down there in the winner's circle to be honored, and now you're seeing why. Because today they're back as winners. Clay Simpson of Fairfield with number five, DP's May. Now Clay's father is the trainer and co-owner Phil Pierce and Dixie Ackerman of Carmi co-own this spectacular deal filly, bred by the owners. 156 and 3, 8 wins at 11 starts. She has been a phenomenal county fair filly and now turns in the effort of her career at the Illinois State Fair. We have some return prices for you.